Hi, we're going to part C now. I'm getting tired of looking at one face here. Cutting board folders are all the rage, um, and I think they probably are in America as well. For those of you who don't have cutting folders, it's a plastic folder that opens up like that. This is the, the snowy winter one. You put a piece of card in, like so, and you put it through a machine. A lot of the machines now take all sorts of different folders and dies and things, and it embosses it, and you end up with that. And a lot of you have seen all the cuttlebug folders on the television, but what they actually haven't shown is what you actually do with them, or what you can do with them. So, again, quick and easy, is putting that on the front of a cart. But I'd like to show you a quick way of matting and layering because that has been wonderful for me. You take your piece of card like this and I'm going to stand up. So this is going to really confuse Alice because she now needs to move the, cal the camera. It needs to change from sitting down and doing nothing, watching me. So you take a piece of your cuttlebug folder and I'm going to trim it this way I think first. This particular trimmer on any trimmer that has got a Perspex ruler on it is wonderful. I'm going to tell you why just in a minute. Because you cut down there. And everybody's usually fine with this part. Let's see if well, that's all right. It's the next bit that's a problem. So you come down to there. And you've now got your strip. Now, this is where it gets fun, because what you do is, you tape, you're all going to go and try this now, or some of you are going to say, I know how to do that and I've done this before. Now I have to say at this point, I have actually got to recording C, and I'm not saying anything, just in case it goes pear shaped. Because knowing me at the very last minute, something will go wrong. But this has been success. I think we've got one outtake. Little debate my friend and I had. There's the supermarket sandwich tray. You can guess which supermarket it is. Now, at this point, you can... And I'm going to show you something. I'm not going to put it on straight. And I'm putting it on squint on purpose. You just plop it down. And you'll all say, oh, that, oh that's, that's, that's not straight. I know it's not straight. But it's designed to help you get it straight. Because what you're wanting to do is take your white paper to the very edge of the white. Now this at the moment is a problem because I can't see for the light of the cam, the shadow of the camera. So if you go back for a minute, and you take it to the very edge of the white and go along, turn it, and you can see it squint. Go again for the white line, cut it because this has got just a tidy bit of a border, and it leaves the edge. As long as you stick with your white line. Hold it, trim it. Again, you can see how squint that is. Follow your white line, trim it again. And that gives you your matting and layering. Now you're saying, oh, that's quite good. I could do two layers. You can add on another layer behind if you want. You can add on a third layer. But that is... Easy with this kind of trimmer because it gives you just that border. If you look closely, it gives you just that border all the way along and it didn't matter that your card was squint to start with. That has been brilliant for me. That is how I did the front of that card. By the same technique. And I finished it by putting on Dufex and finishing the card to look like that. And if you take the little banners that I was talking about in 
video A, you just matte them in a different colour. That's a little bit trickier because you've got to get right up to the very bar to get them cut, but it works with these as well. And if you're wanting to do any of your cards a little bit different in the inside, you can take, for example, this is one that I have just finished. You can put, this is just tape and it's, it's sticky tape on the other side. And it, honestly, I cannot remember where I got it. You also have your uh, Anita's Christmas ribbons there. Uh, I think I've got silver and gold and these are usually quite readily available for black and white cards as well. Anything like that, stick it down your card. This is a landscape card. Stick it down that way. Use one of the trimmers to make a fancy edge border and the inside of your card can then look like that. So these really today are, are quick and easy for when you're tired out, you can't think of anything else that's different to do and you want something that's quick and you haven't got any of your Christmas presents. So I hope from Get Creative you have a really, really nice Christmas and uh, hope all your cards have turned out well. And uh, I'll see you cheerio for now and hopefully speak to you again in 2009, which is not that far away. Bye just now.